Lead is a naturally occurring metal with a bluish silver hue, but you can't see it when it's dissolved in water. It can enter your tap water from natural deposits or through industrial activity, but usually it comes from the corrosion of pipes delivering water to your house or from plumbing in your own home. Keep this in mind if your house is built prior to 1986. Lead is toxic to humans, and no amount of it is considered safe. This is because lead accumulates in your body and can impact many of your most important organs. It can lead to hypertension, reproductive problems, neurological disorders, and issues with your kidneys, immune system, and bones. It may also lead to an increased risk of cancer. Accordingly, the EPA has set their public health goal for lead to zero. They also enforce a limit of 15 parts per billion in water. This means that utilities are required to test for lead regularly. If more than 10% of tests have a higher lead concentration than 15 parts per billion, they must make improvements. This is called an action level. Children are especially vulnerable, and even exposure to low levels of lead can slow their development, damage the brain and nervous system, and lead to problems with learning, behavior, hearing, and speech. So if you have children, you might consider checking your school's drinking water, as there is no federal requirement for schools to test their water. This leaves millions of children potentially exposed to toxic levels of lead. What's worse, lead in water has no smell, taste, or even color. To know if you have lead in your water, consult your local utility's annual water report or test it yourself. If you have a private well, Make sure lead is included in your annual water test. Many local health authorities offer free lead tests due to the severity of its health effects.